So we have the FOMC meeting today, which is the Federal uh, Reserve meeting, where they, de they decide uh, monetary policy, where they kind to, uh, to figure out a way to kind of uh, tail uh, uh, inflation. So this meeting, when every time that this meeting is held, the market is kind of tensed up, you know, because whatever they decide to do or whatever decision they arrive at or they make uh, kind of uh, affect the market. And today is not an exception. It, it happened today again, as usual. So we, we used to it because it happens each time that they have this meeting. So the market kind of go down today. We as is as expected. But one thing that I think we should kind of look into or, or pay attention to is that um, most analysts, most economics, they kind of always predict what what the uh, the Fed would do at their meeting, uh, what would be their conclusion. And I've been I've been following it up, and they have not mixed one yet. They have not not missed one yet. Um, leave in the comment if they have missed one, if analysts or people have missed one that uh, they missed what the, uh, the the Fed would do at the meeting. So this meeting that they had today is not an exception. So they they, they leave the, the rate as it is. They did not raise the interest rate. So they left it as, as it is, 5.25% to 5.5%. So they left the rate as it is. So there's no rate uh, hike this at this meeting in September. But it's expected the, the, the Fed kind of give room that there's possibility it's going to be one more rig hike by the end of the, uh, of the year, before the end of the year, which means they put out there the possibility that they're going to raise, raise the, the, the interest rate one more time. But yeah, they could. And I think, you know, they have to do what they have to do. It's better to get it done right now to actually bring down the uh, inflation than to kind of you know, not get it done and then they have to come back you know next year or, or two years time and do the same thing all over so it's better for for the fed to kind of go into it make sure they achieve their their aim of two percent or really close to two percent so that they won't have to come back and attend to it again so i'm just talking about the rate uh uh, uh the the rate hike today which they happen so they left it as it is and also the effect of it on us or what is our projection what is our perspective from now on to the end of the year and also into 2024 this is one i want us to kind of look into and pay attention to and and generally what life is all about there's always season in everything we do which means there is no situation that remains the same all the time or forever Things always change. And I want us to look at this situation at the moment now. It's going to change. It's going to change. And that is why I want us to kind of prepare for the changes coming. Because it's going to change. It's always change. It's, it seems like it's a guarantee that it's going to change. Every 10 years or every circle of a time, the economy always resets itself. But at this time, point in time it reset itself is resetting itself through the covid so the covid came in 2007 2008 it was the real estate that the economy used to reset itself now this time around is using the covid so it's always happened it's not a strange thing economy seems to reset itself and and, and, and readjust itself like almost every 10 years or, or they are about so this is the same thing that is going on and that is why i am begging you please things are going to change around they are going to change around it's not going to be permanent everything that we do right now in the in the stock market in the market is so cheap and it's going to go back up so i want you to kind of Take action and look at yourself and look at the market and look at the history. Look at what has been happening in the market. From the beginning of the market, every time the market goes down, I'm talking about the exchange itself, the index, they always go back up. Now, I'm not talking about individual stock or a company stock. I'm talking about 
the stock market as a whole every time it goes down it always goes back up so that is why i believe that this is the time for us to build our generational wealth for our next generation that we have to do it now because i know this season will pass and the bull run will begin we can't stop it it's going to start the bull run is going to start and that is why i think we should all right now do everything to pile up all these cheap stocks so that when the bull run begin we're going to rise up with it together right now People always, you know, react when it comes to invest investment, uh, possibly through emotion, through prediction, through you know, sentimental, uh, through through different different reason, which are not the best thing for us to in to use to invest. I want us to look at the history of the stock market. I want us to look at the fundamental of the company. I want us to study the chart. I want us to study psychology. Sometimes psychology play a big role in investment. That is why I, I said sometimes opportunity will present itself. And even though we are not trading, we are not stupid not to take advantage of those opportunity as it present itself. Now the interest rate is stabilized. I mean, it's not high this time around. That means things will start changing gradually, gradually. Before you know it, they start bringing the interest rate down. And I believe once that, that begins, that is when the bull run starts. That's when all these stocks that we think that are so cheap now, they are going up. Let us look into it. This is what the platform is, is, is launched on for us to be able to build this generational wealth. And I believe this is the time for us to take this opportunity, to take advantage of what is presented to us now for us to build our generational wealth. We have to buy it low, then try to sell it high. That is the plan. You know, you, you try to have your retirement, this is the time to do it. I cannot tell you what to do. At the end of the day, the ball is in your court. You can, you have to make decisions. You have to make the, your call because it's your money. But I'm just advising and letting us see these things that it is going to change. Natural, naturally in life, nothing remains the same. Nothing remains forever the same. Things changes. So this season right now is going to change. It is already on the floor the lowest now when i meant the lowest i'm not saying the lowest price i'm saying it's low 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 enough that i know sooner sooner or later it's going to start rising up remember you have to do history kind of look at the history kind of look at the fundamentals of those companies and also look at the chart what is the chart telling you you have to use those to invest. Don't use hope. Don't use sentiment. Don't use guess game to invest. This is my this, this is my, my my request to you for you to be able to do that. Use the chart. Use fundamental. Use uh, 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 history. What has happened in the market to make your judgment and also do your research. Okay. That is why I bring this to them. The meeting today is also further enhance this thought that sooner or later, things will start changing. The Fed does not increase the interest rate at this meeting. The next, the next meeting, they might even decide not to raise again. That means things are getting kind of where they wanted it to be. And before they start doing that, I want us to take advantage of it and already be set ourselves, be in the game. Get yourself by piling DCA into the stocks that we talk about, that I talk about, or that you think is good for you. 
but you have to take an action. This is my plea to you, for you to take an action and do what is best for you. I am just bringing the opportunity for you and to kind of open our mind into understanding that this season will not be permanent. It is going to change. Things are good. Let me show you one thing. Maybe that will help a little bit. Apart from us looking at the what the analysts are saying, what the economists are saying, what the history are saying, what the, the, the charts, the, the, the fundamentals are saying, all those things are things that we should be using to, to, to make decisions for ourselves. Apart from that, you can still see, read articles and, and research to see what others are saying, what other uh, economists or, or experts or people that, that, that earn their living from this, what they are saying. Let me show you something and we can go from there. About uh, the next five years, next 10 years. Uh, remember, what we are trying to do is for us to be able to, um, to, uh, to invest in the long term. Um, and also, you know, to take advantage of uh, opportunity that present itself. But this is just a long time. It's a, so economic forecast for the next five to 10 years, 2023 to 2033. Just, you know, just a long term investment. And this is what the, uh, the uh, expert and, and people that studied it, uh, look at is the, uh, the CBO's economic projection, provide valuable insight into the U.S. future. Why the U.S. economy is projected to experience some challenges, including a tight labor market and rising interest rate, the economy is expected to continue growing with a projected growing rate of 2.4% per year from 2024 to 2027. That's from next year. So we have like what? From from next uh, five uh, five months from now. So this is what I'm saying that things are going to change around, you know, this inflation and this season is going to pass. And when it passes, you know, great things will happen and the bull run will happen. And when the bull run happened, uh, we, we have to have been in it before it start moving. Because if we start to, to, to get in when it start moving, Sometimes it might seem seems like we're just playing a, a, a catch up, you know. So that's why let's all you know gradually, you know, DCA into it, you know, you know, gradually, you know, and and at the end of the day, we will not regret that we are that we do so. Thank you for joining in again. So this is it for today. This is what I think I should bring on. If this is your first time on this channel, I would like you to join and subscribe to this channel so that we can share more content together so that we can see how far we can journey this great journey together. I want us to do together. I don't want us to do good thing together. I want us to go to the next level together. So I want you to share this video. I want you to comment and I want you to join the community. Thank you very much for taking time out today until I see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day.